Okay, I'm at the uh, IMTS 2016 show, and right now we're in the Nikon booth. Uh, I'm here with uh, Dennis Freimark. Do I have that right, Freimark? And we're looking at the H, uh, what the HNC 3030 gear measurement machine. Is that right? right. Yeah. And what's uh, well, gear measurement? Uh, what else does it do? Um, well, originally this machine was was not specifically designed for gear measurement. It's just that's where the market took off when we first started selling it in the Asian market. Um, because of the, uh, the high accuracy, high speed uh, precision measurement of the, of the gears, um, we're able to uh, measure basically the whole surface of the gear rather than just the uh, normal touch grid pattern that you can do with a, with a, um, a contact probe, a touch probe. And you, and you said high accuracy, what, what are we talking about? Um, on a general gear measurement we can reach accuracies under a micron. Okay, uh, so uh, you kind of step us through what it does. Um, so basically we have a laser scanner, it's a five axis system, okay, we have a machine in there that moves in X, Y, and Z, we also have a rotary table that rotates infinitely, and then an arm that the laser is mounted on that uh, goes from minus 20 degrees to 135 degrees. So with that we can basically measure any contour of the surface. There's also a laser mounted on that can go from minus 180 to a positive 180. So basically that is not automatic. You position that into the, uh, you put that in the position that you need it for the scan, and then it'll move around the part and um, also rotate the table and scan it as needed. Okay, uh, as you can see here, we're getting uh, basically point cloud data. We're doing a general four tooth measurement. Um, that's normal in gear measurement. Uh, we can basically do a four tooth measurement on a, on, on a gear in about five minutes. Um, Depending on the type of gear, there are different types of gears. You know, we have the the bevel gears, the hypoid gears, uh, basic um, cylindrical drive gears. Um, so on a bevel gear, uh, something like this, uh, we could measure this whole gear surface in about five minutes, all teeth. Oh, all okay. teeth. All teeth. Okay. Yes. Um, it always depends on the type of gear. Okay. On a on a. Uh, drive gear, we can measure it in about, um, I believe, 40 minutes or so, all teeth, both sides. Okay. Now, I, I know we're not allowed to, to film inside there, but can you show us maybe uh, on the software what, what might be happening? Okay. Right now, you'll see uh, we have a video window right now. It's actually scanning the face of the tooth. Okay. Over in this window, we have a simulation of all the point clouds. If I zoom in a little bit here. I can show you that we actually do generate general uh, gear reports with the profile and lead. Okay. Um, I can also bring up a sample of a bevel pinion gear. So that's a sample of a bevel pinion gear report. We can also do the pitch between all the teeth. Okay. This is a report for all the pitch between the teeth. Now we can go back and we'll see that we have a point cloud here that is just basically a whole bunch of points as the laser scans. So we can. Uh, generally grab about 120,000 points per second with this laser. Um, it's very comparable to our LC15 laser that we sell on our CMMs, which is our most accurate laser that we have. So are you, are you scanning the, in, the surface of the entire gear or just uh, particular edges or how's that work? Currently, uh, how this is running, we are scanning the top of the gear and the inside of the gear to set up a datum, okay? And then we scan both sides of four teeth to do our typical measurement. We can set it up to do the whole gear. Um, when we're doing a general pitch measurement, it does spin around and grab all gears to get the spacing between the teeth. And, and um, what, what market uh, is kind of driving this, uh, the need for this particular piece of equipment? Uh, the gear industry, mostly uh, with automotive. Um, that's where it initially took off, but it is also, I mean, it's beneficial in any gear industry. Um, I could see applications also in the uh, plastics, so small plastic gears, where you cannot measure them with contact probes because they're just too small. We can measure them with a laser. So in our presentation here, we have a couple gears that we do, um, I believe they're about half a millimeter and 0.3 of a millimeter in size, and we're able to scan those, no problem. Those are pretty small gears. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, normally, normally your touch probe is only about 0.3 in diameter, your smallest size. Yeah. So. Um, so, you mentioned earlier, like, you could compare this to, I'm assuming you could compare this to CAD, so, uh, and do like a, uh, like a color map, is, is that possible? Yes, that is possible. That'll also give you um, a contour, a contour map. You can also, there's options for um, possibly even doing uh, 
a representation of gear meshing. So how the teeth mesh together. Um, the common way to normally do that is you'd probably uh, paint up the gears with, um, with, with something and then actually have them contact. And it was always a visual measurement. So it's very subjective. Um, now we could do that, we could simulate it in the software and be able to do it that way. So, uh, Is uh, also used for uh, reverse engineering gears by any chance? Uh, that is possible, yes. Um, uh, we would have to use a third party software to do the reverse engineering to generate the CAD file, but basically it, it uh, can export an STL file or a point cloud, and then we can take that into a third party software and generate the CAD file from that, like an IGIS or a STEP file. Okay. Very good. Well, Dennis, uh, thank you uh, for okay. demonstrating. This was the HNC 3030. Yes. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Thank you.